Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. And today I am talking with Stacy Phelps, who is the chairperson for the Nelson County Relay for Life. The Relay for Life events throughout Central Kentucky normally would be taking place in May or June or July in this time frame, but because of the COVID-19 situation, our local Relay for Life events have been postponed. Right, Stacy? Correct, yes. So. So we're hoping so, potentially we might get to schedule them, but right now that's kind of up in the air. Is that correct? Right. Um, you know, our first event that we were going to do this year, we were going to have a pie auction. So we were really excited about that. Um, I had joined forces with the Barstone Police Department, the Nelson County Fire Department, and also the Nelson County Sheriff's Office. So unfortunately, we had to put that on hold. Um, so hopefully, maybe later this year we can do that. They were going to kind of challenge each other and have a pie eating contest just so we could raise some money. So it was going to be fun and it was going to be something new this year. So um, we've had to put that on hold and then also our event in May, which is our big event that we, you know, do every year. Right. And uh, there were plans. Everything was getting together for that. But in March, when all this hit, you had to kind of uh, punt there, I guess. Right. And kind of change. Yeah. Plans. Yeah. So now we're trying to adapt to the way things are right now. Um, we're going to start um, trying to do some virtual fundraising. Um, our first one will be this Thursday. Um, so that's something new for us. So we're excited and hopefully we can raise some money um, to make up for what we've lost so far. Right. Because even though the situation that we're in, uh, the fundraising is still necessary for the American Care Society right. to continue to offer the great services that they do provide. And those services still are available to individuals in our community suffering from cancer. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. And, you know, because we say cancer doesn't stop. So, you know, just because, you know, we're um, everyone's stuck in the house, everyone is, you know, there's still people being diagnosed with cancer. There's still people that need their treatment. Um, you know, this year, 1.8 million people will be diagnosed with cancer. So um, and from that, over 600,000 of them will pass away. So, you know, we, we try to still get out there and let everybody know that we are still fundraising. We do still need the money. Um, cancer research is huge and we need to continue. So, so we're still out there. We're still trying to get some stuff done. And this year, since we weren't able to actually go to an event and cover it because the event hasn't happened yet, uh, we decided to put together highlights from the past several years that we have covered with the Nelson County Relay for Life. And we're going to have a retrospective kind of looking back at that. And while you're looking back and remembering, you also have the opportunity to donate because we're going to have a way for them to donate virtually. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Um, and then we are also going to have an event, you know, like I said, this Thursday, um, and you can actually go to our relay page um, and there'll be a link there that you can go from and to do that. It's going to be a virtual bingo. So you buy bingo cards and then all that money, of course, will go to the American Cancer Society. Okay. So that's Thursday, May the 28th. What time is that going to be taking place? Um, it's going to start at six o'clock um, and go until nine. You can also win some designer purses like Coach and Michael Kors. So, um, so it's going to be fun, and we're going to raise some money at the same time. Okay, great. Now that's going to be on Thursday. It's a fundraiser Thursday, uh, May the twenty eighth. We're going to have that fundraiser for the Nelson County Relay for Life. You do have a Facebook page that is specifically for the Nelson County Relay. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Yes, it, if you go to Facebook and you just go to Nelson County Relay for Life um, and you can send us messages there. There's donate buttons from there. Um, everything that we're doing here in the community will be on there um, and hopefully soon we'll be able to post that we're going to have an event. So um, if everyone just wants to continue to follow that and hopefully we'll be able to make some announcements soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you have been the chairperson for this event for a few years now, is that correct? Yeah, I'm going on my third year. And so um, you have a long this, history. this has been a, the hardest. Yes. Um, actually, I've been a volunteer for six years. Um, my mom actually passed away from lung cancer um, three years ago. She was diagnosed and passed away 14 days after that. So um, since then, that's kind of pushed me a little bit more to do um, a whole lot more. And hopefully we can raise a lot more money. So. Everyone has their own story, so um, and it's hard to find someone that's not affected by cancer in some way. So we just push as hard as we can here in Nelson County and hopefully raise some money. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as we said, the event was going to take place. It, it traditionally took place um, Mother's Day weekend, I believe. There Correct. Was, and, 
That's correct. This year we were moving it away from Mother's Day. Um, we were going to do it the following weekend. So um, just to kind of make it so it wasn't so busy for everybody. Um, but of course we had to cancel that. So um, we're hoping for maybe um, a fall event um, and kind of make it into like a kind of a craft fair type event. But, you know, we're just kind of waiting it out right now. Absolutely. And as we hear more from Stacy, we'll let our viewers know too when that possibly could occur. But as we said, the fundraising still needs to continue because people are still mm -hmm. needing the services that the American Cancer Society and raising money through the Relay for Life provide. So mm -hmm. we do have a link on the screen that you can share and donate from, or you can go to their Facebook page, the Nelson mm -hmm. County Relay for Life, or you can go to just the American Cancer Society's website as well, correct? Right, it's uh, cancer.org, and from there you can donate uh, to the American Cancer Society. Great. Well, thank you very much for sharing this information with us. We hope that our people in our community will continue to contribute. I know they're uh, trying times right now for a lot of people, uh, mm -hmm. but as we said, it's a good cause and it does touch pretty much. You can't find anybody who has not been affected in some way by cancer. Right, right. So um, everything, any help that we can get is much appreciated. And if somebody would like to get in touch with you to find out about some of the services that are available or to make a contribution or find out anything else about the Relay for Life or the American Care Society, how can they get in touch with you? Um, they can contact me at 502-348-9003 and I'm at extension 123. Um, you can leave me a message and I'll get right back with you. Um, I can help you, you know, get resources or anything that you need. Any questions, I can get you the answer. Absolutely. And as we did say with the COVID-19, I know a lot of people are in their homes or what have you, but the services still are available. So if you have been recently uh, diagnosed or even if it wasn't recent, but you need some of those services now that you weren't aware about, uh, please do reach out to either Stacy or the American Cancer Society and get the help that is available to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. All right. This has been Gary White talking with Stacy Phelps, who is the chairperson for the Nelson County Relay for Life. Thank you.